The second Vienna Award, also known as the Vienna Diktat, was the second of two territorial disputes that were arbitrated by Nazi Germany and fascist Italy. On August 30, 1940, they assigned the territory of northern Transylvania, including all of Maramuresh and part of Krishana, from Romania to Hungary. On July 1, 1940, Romania repudiated the Anglo-French Guarantee of April 13, 1939, which had become worthless by the fall of France. The next day, King Carol II addressed a letter to Hitler that suggested for Germany to send a military mission to Romania and to renew the alliance of 1883. Germany used Romania's new desperation to force a revision of the territorial settlement produced by the Paris Peace Conference of 1919 in favor of Germany's old allies, Hungary and Bulgaria. In an exchange of letters between Carol and Hitler, 5 to 15 July, Carol insisted for no territorial exchange to occur without a population exchange, and Hitler conditioned German goodwill towards Romania on Romania's having good relations with Hungary and Bulgaria. The Romanian foreign minister was Mihail Manuelescu, the German minister plenipotentiary in Bucharest was Wilhelm Fabricius. In accordance with German wishes, Romania began negotiations with Hungary at Ternu Severin on 16 August. The initial Hungarian claim was 69,000 square kilometers, 27,000 square miles, of territory with 3,803,000 inhabitants, almost two-thirds of whom were Romanian. Talks were broken off on 24 August. The German and Italian governments then proposed an arbitration, which was characterized in the minutes of the Romanian Crown Council of 29 August as communications with an ultimativa character made by the German and Italian governments. The Romanians accepted, and Foreign Ministers Joachim von Ribbentrop of Germany and Galeazzo Ciano of Italy met on August 30, 1940 at the Belvedere Palace in Vienna. They reduced the Hungarian demands to 43,492 square kilometers, 16,792 square miles, with a population of 2,667,007. The treaty was signed by Hungarian Foreign Minister Isvan Chaki and Romanian Foreign Minister Mihail Manoilescu. A Romanian Crown Council met overnight on 30-31 August to accept the arbitration. At the meeting, Iolu Maniu demanded for Carol to abdicate and for the Romanian army to resist the Hungarian takeover of northern Transylvania. His demands were pragmatically rejected. Population statistics in northern Transylvania and the changes after the award are presented in detail in the next section. The rest of Transylvania, known as southern Transylvania, with 2,274,600 Romanians and 363,200 Hungarians, remained part of Romania.